What up, family? This your man, Jeff. Welcome back to my channel, Food Delivery Guru. All right, y'all. So um, I am just down the Grubhub, um, and it has been tough out here with Grubhub, guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It is tough. Um, you know, not being on any type of scheduling, um, just trying to run the app open because that's what I normally do. Um, I was able to pick up some schedules that uh, people, other drivers had dropped. Um, but it has been a struggle, guys. I mean, normally I'm used to doing 150, 200 in six to eight hours. Uh, yesterday I did do 220, um, but that took me 10 hours, maybe, I think even a little bit more than 10 hours, y'all. So, man, it is rough. Um, I'm okay today. Um, I'm at like 125 right now. It's one o'clock. I plan on stopping around five, maybe six. Um, that's going to be another 10 hours that I'm going to do because um, I'm trying to just get to 200 to catch up for the other days and the money I missed out uh, when DoorDash took me off their platform. So um, it is definitely a struggle. I ain't even going to lie, y'all. Now, uh, one of the things that I wanted to bring to the table, normally I don't talk about politics and none of that stuff every now and then, uh, but I want all you guys to be aware of the situation we all know that you know russia and invaded ukraine and they got all kinds of crap going on and you know that the united states is probably going to end up putting sanctions um on russia because of this now with that being said if y'all don't really follow that type of stuff really closely understand that we get a lot of our oil from russia okay uh something like 12 percent i think like uh something along those lines we get oil from canada uh we get oil from from mexico uh we get oil from saudi arabia colombia all these different countries but we get a huge amount of it uh from russia okay so understandably if we do put sanctions on russia which i haven't followed the news we might have already done that um but realize we ain't gonna get no oil from russia and what is that going to do, okay? Oil and gas, all that stuff, energy costs are going to increase, okay? Y'all think gas prices are high now? You think heating up your home and your apartment and all that stuff is expensive now? Um, I was just looking at some numbers that just the uh, energy in your house has already went up 7 to 8% across the board in the United States on an average, 7 to 8%. Um, so, you know, I know DoorDash is changing this platform. I guess they are going to, and you guys can let me know because I'm not following no news <laughs> with DoorDash. Um, but I guess they're going to a minimal $5 tip now. Um, man, that's just going to hurt. That's going to hurt the business to me. I think that's going to hurt the business. Um, but realize that gas prices are going to increase, y'all. So just be prepared. Wanted to just throw that out there. If you guys are not really understanding or paying attention to that, um, if you guys already live in cities where uh, gas is five and six bucks, um, be prepared that gas may hit you know eight to nine dollars here in the next month, um, depending on what deals you know the U.S. makes with Saudi and these other countries to try to bring in some more oil supplies to supplement what we're probably not going to get from Russia. So just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Um, you know, you guys can always do your own research, but, um, you know, I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist um, when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and that's why I created the name Controversial Apparel. Um, because pretty much everything that I want to put out with my stuff is going to be controversial. So, hence, I will leave you with this one phrase. Um, New world order. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> anyway, guys, I ain't got nothing else for you. As I always say, y'all drive safe out there. Make that money. Peace out.